Hello, welcome to the Cloud Factory. My name is Sandy and today I am going to show you how to make binding, lining, and piping for your necklines. For that I will use some basic shapes, so I will show you how to make it as well. So let's start. First of all I will show you my supplies for binding and piping. This one here, the name is Bias Binding and you can get it already made in your fabric store. And as you can see here is only a strip of fabric, cut it on bias and pressed like this with two folds. You can find it in any color you want. This one here is for piping. It's only a strip of fabric folded by the middle and with the stitch here. You can make your own using bias binding like this. I made this one or you can use any kind of fabric you want. These two are flat for a flat finishing and this one it has a cord inside for a rounded finishing. You have to use it in the same way and if you don't know how to make it don't miss my next video on Sunday because I will show you how to make all this stuff. Now I want to show you some of my garments to give you an example of the difference between binding and piping. Here in the neckline of this kurti I have binding in this way. This is one way to use binding as you can see here the um, bias binding is only folded and this is another kind of binding this one is flat only in one side of the garment like this you can apply it in sleeves or in necklines and here this is piping flat piping the piping you can see is in between two pieces of fabric like this This is made with this kind of piping, the flat one. And this one, as you can see here, this has a rounded finishing. It's like a tube, like a small tube going uh, along the edge of your garments. You can feel the cord inside because it's made with this kind of piping. And it looks like this. Now let's go with the tutorial. First of all I will show you the easiest one which is lining. For that you will need your top piece and your lining piece. It has the same shape and size as you can see here and you have to face it with the right side of your fabric uh, in the inside part like this. Now pin it together and fold it by the middle. Now for this example I'm going to show you how to make a square neckline but if you want another kind of neckline you can check the link I am showing you here on the screen if you are watching me from a computer or if you are watching me from a mobile the link is in the description box below this video. Now here for my square neckline I will mark as much as I want the average is 5 inch so I will mark, mark 5 you can set as much as you want and here the average is six but also is completely up to you I will mark five and a half I will transfer the five and a half here also and I will trace the lines to complete my square neckline Then here you have it, if you want to make it more interesting here I will go half inch and trace this new line and there you have it. Then cut it considering the space for stitches. If you didn't consider it before when you mark and trace the lines. Then unpin it. Now we will stitch all the contour of my pieces except for the bottom part. So stitch the armholes, the neckline, the shoulder part and the sides. And you will have this. Now make these cuts in the corners of the square in this way. Also make some cuts in the armhole. And remove the corners like this. Turn it out. You will get this. Be sure the corners are completely out. And press it. F 
for both sides. And if you can see here, this corner is completely uh, clean. You don't have any wrinkle on it. And this is the sign you did it right. I will show you closer, you can see here. We don't have any wrinkles in this part. And that means you made a perfect lining for your neckline. It looks like this. And now let's see how to make a binding. For this you will need a single piece of your top. Also you can make binding and lining but it doesn't make any sense. I recommend you on single pieces of fabric. Pin it. Together folded by the middle also. And here I will mark 6 inch because I will make a rounded neck. And here 4 inch. And then trace the, the curved line like a half U shape. And cut it. Unfold it and I'm going to show you first how to make a folded binding. For that take your bias binding or the binding you made and we will match the edge of the binding. Open it like this and match the edge with the edge of your neckline in this way and we will give a stitch here in the folded line but opening like this. All along your neckline don't worry because the bias binding is cut it on bias so it will match the shape of your neckline perfectly once you have this unfold it or fold it to the other side now fold it horizontally by the middle in this way covering the stitch we have in the wrong side of the fabric and give a stitch on the inner edge like this. And press everything. And there you have it. It looks like this. And from the back it looks like this. Now I'm going to show you how to make a flat or plain binding. Also use a single piece of fabric for this. And here I will mark one inch and a half to make a boat neckline. And here I will mark three inch. And I will trace this curved line. And cut it. And there you have it. We will use the same bias binding. But this time we will stitch it first in the wrong side of your top part. Place it in the same way, matching the edge of the bias binding with the edge of your fabric, like this. And we will give a stitch here in the folded line. all along and once you have it turn it to the right side of your piece in this way fold it completely by the stitch in this way and now I am giving a stitch in the edge of that uh, stitch I made before but in the right side now this part I will fold it in this way and I will give a stitch here. This time in the right side of my fabric. There you have it. Now only press it. And it's ready. It looks like this from the back side. 
the binding I recommend to use it uh, on simple necklines like this one or a rounded one or also you can use it on sleeves or borders now let's see how to make piping for this I am going to show you how to make a v-shaped neckline so here I will mark 6 inch and here I will mark 5 inch but it's completely up to you you can mark as much as you want and trace this line and cut and you will have this now I will cut 1 centimeter here in the corner inner corner and I will cut a piece of piping bigger than my line also for the other side and I will attach it in this way matching the edge of the piping and the folded part is here we will stitch following the same stitch of my piping in the right side of my fabric as I told you, stitch following the same stitch we have or one millimeter um, next to it but in the folded part of the piping. And I stop stitching about one centimeter and a half before to reach the inner corner of your V-shaped neckline. And do the same in the other side. Remember we are stitching in the right side of the fabric and stop stitching before to reach the inner corner now overlap the ends of the piping on this way and take your lining piece for piping you have to cut the lining piece after attach the piping to the fabric so I will cut it now Put it together with the right side of your fabric inside and we will give a stitch here in the V-shape. You have to stitch also following the same stitch we made before. But before you start stitching, pin the inner corner of your neckline to keep everything on its place. This is so important. And also stop stitching one centimeter and a half before to reach the inner corner. And do the same in the other side. Now fold it to the other side. Place the piping on its place, overlapping. like this cut one centimeter in the lining piece in the inner corner fold it inside in this way press it With the help of a stick you can keep folding and pressing to keep everything on its place and make it perfect. Pin it. And now we will give a stitch in the edge of the piping, in the inner edge of the piping in this way. And this time I will stitch everything, also the inner corner. Press it and there you have it. Your piping with lining is ready. As you can see here the V shape looks like this and is oh, so neat and beautiful.
you can make piping also without lining but I really recommend to use it with lining otherwise it will not get a beautiful finishing now let's see a very complicated one so you can see everything is possible for piping here I will mark 5 inch and here I will mark 6 inch and a half we will make a, a scalloped neckline and I will mark a rounded shape and here I will draw petals like this like semicircles I will draw three you can make as many as you want and then correct the shape with the help of your curve drawer and cut and there you have it now we will cut pieces of piping bigger than the semicircles. In this case we will need six in the same length, so I will cut six of these. And we will attach it to the semicircles in the same way, but first cut here in the inner corners one centimeter also. And then attach it in the same way we attach it in the V-shaped neckline, but one by one. We have to match the edge of the neckline with the edge of the piping. And you have to sew slowly. the top part of the semicircle and stop stitching one centimeter and a half before to reach the inner corner of every semicircle. Do the same with every one and you will have this. Continue doing the same with all and at the end you will get this. Overlap all the piping in the inner corners in this way and press it. Put your lining piece on the top and pin the shoulders and the armhole points. Turn it to the other side. Pin the inner corners. And now here, if you remember, we didn't stitch. Here, every inner corner is free of stitches. So now we will give a stitch following the same stitch of my piping. Also, I will avoid the inner corners. Stop stitching about one centimeter and a half before to reach every inner corner. And now cut the excess of lining on the shape of your neckline. Now make one centimeter cuts in every inner corner of the lining. Fold it to the other side and helping you with the stick, put everything inside on its place. Folding the lining inner corners and also the fabric, the main fabric inner corners and pin it. It must be like this. Do the same with every inner corner. This will take time, but be patient. Don't be shy using pins. Use as many as you need to keep everything on its place. It has to look like this. And then we will give a stitch in the inner edge of the piping. I am using contrasting colors for my thread to show you in a better way on the video, but you must use matching colors of thread. Then you will have a perfect finishing. Now press everything. And there you have it. Your escalloped neckline is ready 
with piping and lining. I really hope you like this video. If it's like that, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Share my videos and my channel with your friends so in that way you are helping me to keep making videos. Follow me on Twitter and like my page on Facebook because there I will let you know every update about my tutorials and you will be able to know and see advances of my work and what will we do next. With this video we start a month of necklines. So don't forget, next Sunday I will show you how to make piping and biting by yourself, so don't miss that video. Thank you again for watching this tutorial and I will see you the next time.